G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today, because you guys love, love, loved my fireworks um, live edge big coaster tray that I did the other day, I thought I'd do another one. And this time, I'm going to use my poinsettia tray mold. This is my small poinsettia mold. Uh, I will link it down in the description if you want this particular mold. It's really pretty. Um, and I will also link the resin I'm using today. So today, um, again, I am using the Let's Resin Fast Cure 4-Hour Demold. It's a one-to-one, -one, as you can see. Um, when, I, when I got these, before I even opened them, I weighed them both, and A was heavier than B. So... As far as I know, well, the resins I have chosen, I can't say all of them, but the resins I have used so far has always been heavier than me. So in my cup, I mixed up 120 grams of A and 105 grams of B. I've got 125 grams of resin. So half a cup. And it was sitting there in the cup for 35 minutes. It got to... 40 degrees on my little thermometer. I got to 40 degrees. It took 35 minutes and then I started, started my video and decanted. So that's what I've done. That is all that I've done so far. And I can see a bubble there. It's a pretty thick resin. I'm still waiting for my Platinum 360 to arrive. I think they've been out of stock for quite a while because I love using it, but I haven't got any at the moment. So I have to use something else. And, um, yeah, this resin's working really well. Look, I personally, I don't think it matters what type of resin you use for the 3D bloom. It is important, though, that you let your resin sit, warm up, become thick, um, regardless of which resin you are using. So that's my little tip for the day. <laughs> Just getting these little bubbles out. I don't know if it's bubble or reflection. Could be a reflection, it could be the ring light reflecting on it. Might not be a bubble at all. Okay, so the resin has, like I said, been sitting there. Um, and there's a hair, of course. Right, now the colours I'm using today, I am going to do yellow, pink and purple. So these are just El Cheapy ones. Um, what does it say? L-I-M-I-N-O, Lamino. Just really, really cheapy ones from Amazon. Actually, I don't even know whether I've opened them yet. No, I haven't. Gosh. All right, so now that my, my resin has been, I was going to say demolded, but decanted, it is just going to sit in here for another 10 minutes. Pink. I've used that one. And yellow. Yep, I've used that one. All right, so here we go. I'm going to do darkest. No, I'm going to go lightest to darkest. I like the, the center a bit darker. So we're going to go some purple. And it's like, it's more of a pinky purple. I didn't want to do like a too dark. You know how there's different shades of purple? So this is more like a pinky purple. I found with the cheaper, the cheaper type of alcohol inks, they're not as concentrated. So they, they spread more. I'm going to go yellow on the outside. Actually, I might go and get a darker purple because there's not much difference there, is there? I'll just run and grab another purple. I was going to go purple and I was going to go grape and then I thought, oh, we'll go grape, but I'm going to go and get the, the purple. It's actually violet. It is violet. And you just have to stab it with the little pin. Oh, sometimes it's difficult to get it right in the center. Make sure you're wearing gloves when you do this because it makes a mess. No, didn't get it. Must have been off to the side a bit. Okay, let's try that. Oh, I still haven't got it. The little needle in there had been pushed off to the side. So it wasn't working. All right, here we go. Okay, that's better. Let's make that a bit darker. Spread it. Because res resin um, resin pulls in from the outside in. 
so you color in the middle if it's only little it's going to be even littler when you when you're finished okay so that's i think that'll do all right so uh, we'll move on to the white do this first now i've said to you before do your inks first um, and let them settle um, otherwise when you if you put your inks in and then you put your white in your inks will still be moving and then your white petals will be really disrupted so um, yeah make sure that you do that at least five minutes before you pour now i'm using the just resin titanium white i'm gonna dip that in give it a wiggle so that i've got both sides coated and then basically wipe off what you can and what's left it's probably going to be enough um, I may add a little bit more so oh gosh I've only got one minute left <laughs> I've been mucking around with the inks so I wait at, at 215 I stopped stirring at 250 35 minutes later I decanted and then at three o'clock which is 10 minutes after that I need to start piping which is like one minute from now <laughs> all right we're gonna do this we're gonna do this guys we're gonna do this no time to stand around and chat I didn't realize that took me so long this is just how I do it anyway feel free to you know do it however you want to do it because what happens is once you've decanted um, and you've got a, a, a wider surface area there. The resin, it doesn't cool down, but it stops heating up at the rate that it was heating up when it was in the cup. Small surface area, deep amount. So it slows down with the curing and, and heating process. So I find I've always got an extra 10 minutes after I've decanted to get my white organized and uh, to start. Okay, so, and your white should feel warm when it's in the little bag. I use the little piping bags. They're just easy. Um, I'm going to snip that off. Can you see that? It's about four mil. Just, you want just a nice little dob. All right, now, this is where the fun begins. Um, oh, gosh, there's a bubble. I do like my white edges to be white. My my edges to be white. I think it's getting already. So yeah, get started. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. See, it's tri it's tricky to try and like do a, a dot without leaving a little line behind because you know it wants to leave a little line. Sometimes I think it, you could just like touch the resin, push like you're just touching the resin. And then lift. I'm going to do them a little bit closer together this time than I did with my last one because the last one I found that I had to go back and do a second layer. Have I got enough to go around here? I don't think you can actually, well, you might be able to. If you go really slowly, you might be able to um, do dots without leaving a little train behind, but <laughs> I can't. Oh, my gosh, what's that? There's something in there. I'll have to get that out in a minute. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to try, it's a bit tricky, but try and get between the line, the, the dots above. Otherwise, they just join together and you end up with a long line. So I'm going to try to get between them. Not always possible. But I found that on the last one that if I went too much in front of the line above, all I was getting was a line. Whereas if you try and do that and then the other one there, you get more of a pattern. Just winding this back up again. Some dots in there. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to have to get them out. So just keep going. I mixed up 30 grams for my white, just an ounce. Around 
here we go. <laughs> I'm trying to get between each, but it's not it's not easy because sometimes there's no room, you know, that as you get into the center, the area is getting smaller. Okay, I haven't got this properly in my hand. Feel as if my resin's getting thick now. Thicker, and it will get thicker. It's just what resin does. Okay, am I kind of in the middle? Maybe you can go in and add a few more if you want to. I think I'm good with all of these. Yeah, I don't think I need any more. All right, so that's it for now. I do want to just try and get. I don't know what that is. It's a little black, little black hair of some kind. Mm, okay. All right. Now the other thing I want to do is I would like to just give it a bit of heat. I just sprayed some alcohol on my gloves because they're a bit sticky. This is my heat gun here, my XU one. Go around a bit. This pops the bubbles and it also just heats. Now I'm going to push. I'm going to go on an angle like that. I'm just going to push the resin from the outside and then come in a little bit more. Push. I'm aiming at the yellow now and then I'm going to aim at the pink and push that. And then I'm just going to do the blue. Then I'm going to go around again and aim at the white dots. And then at the yellow dots. And then at the pink. And then at the blue. And hopefully we'll just get that starting to move a little bit more. Alright, that's it. I think that's about all I want to do. Because it's quite a thick resin to begin with, I find that I can actually heat it. You saw it went like around about four times. Um, some of the thinner resins, I can't go around that much. Look, 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 my pink's gone. Oh, pink, come back. <gasps> but you can see how the resin really pushes in from the outside in. And I did want white around the edge, which I've got. And I've got my yellow, and I've got quite a lot of blue, but my pink's gone, skis. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, okay, so next time maybe I'll put my yellow a little bit further around, make the pink a little bit thicker. The blue's fine, I just would have liked a little bit more pink, but hey, what can you do? It's resin, it has a mind of its own. But look, look, you guys, look how pretty it looks. Look. It's blooming, it's blooming. Gonna have fireworks. So we'll have fireworks in those little points there and in the curves. So it should look really pretty. I think it's nice. Oh, well, I haven't done a, a different shaped mold before. The last one was basically round. It had the live edge, but it was basically round. Now, don't put any more color on. If you're going, oh, my pink's gone, don't add any more pink, okay? Because like I said, the pink's gonna hit the resin and it's gonna spread. It's going to move your bloom, your white underneath. It's gonna move it as well. So, you know, you might see people that have done a coaster and everything's like pushed up to the side. It's probably because they added their inks too late and it's moved and then their bloom's moved. So just don't. This is still look pretty. It kind of looks <laughs> like a flower, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, with just a little bit of pink around there. But look, you can always do it again. It's just a bit of resin. We can do it again. All right. I will see you when this is set up enough to do a top coat. I'm going to have to think about what color I want to do. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'll have a think about it. I'll see you in a few hours. A few seconds for you. A few hours for me. Right. So this layer has set nice and hard. And I thought I'd go with some blue today. Uh, the lovely people at Colour Passion sent me a box of goodies. So this is a new one. I've never used this one before. It is called Michelle Shimmer. A lot of their colours seem to have 
person's name. I think, I'm thinking maybe they're people that work there. I don't know. Maybe they're friends. Maybe they're family. I'm not sure. But um, they have people's names on them. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to try and save that. I'll, I'll clean the rest off it in a minute. Take the rest off it in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's it's a shimmer as the name suggests. So I'm just going to clean off my little stick here. And put a scoop of that in. I don't think we probably need terribly much. It should do. Hey, I, I, I get it everywhere. Like, I don't know. Is it just me? Like... I just, I'd make such a mess. Oh, let me clean my gloves. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. Now, I think to that I might add a little bit of this. I've never used this before. Let's Resin Ultra Fine Glitter Powder. Laser Royal Blue. So, let's pop a little bit of that in there as well. We've got the sprinkle side and we've got the spoon side. Just a little bit. Whoa! Comes out fast. <laughs> I think these two colours will look nice together. I just want a little bit of a sparkle, a bit of a shimmer. And they're both shimmery, sparkly colours, so that'll look nice. And it should look like a nice sort of... It's not going to be too dark. Um, blue sky. Now, I must tell you, I wasn't very happy with the centre of this. Um, I, when I was doing my, my dots... In the center a few of them were kind of joined because you know when you put the it was getting quite thick um the resin was getting quite thick and so i did my dot and when i lifted it up it had a train and the train fell over and then it was kind of looked as if they were joined so i didn't show it because i'd already taken my camera down and everything i just sucked the center out with my syringe um and then i put one more drop of this violet in the middle and and it's, I think it's going to look amazing. I'm not quite sure, but having the separate dots in the centre just what just was not doing it for me. So, yeah, I sucked the middle out. There's no reason. Like if you find it, you know, when you're doing these sorts of things, if the middle's not moving very much, just suck the middle out and it'll go like that. <laughs> and it'll fix your centre. So you can do it. You can do it. You've seen me do it. Now, I'm wondering if it's going to be dark enough. Whether I add just a teensy little bit of black just a little ah, just a little drop of black Ooh, one little tiny drop just a tiny drop hasn't really changed it very much <laughs> all right so now we're going to pour this on and then i'll be able to unmold in the morning look at that isn't that gorgeous I made up, I did 80 grams of A, 35 grams of B. And here we go. We'll see how this goes. I think the white petals will look stunning. <gasps> stunning against this bright, bright blue. Gosh, I've only just got room. <laughs> oh, didn't think about that, did I? I just thought, yeah, it'll need about half a cup. There we go. <laughs> Dunskies. All right. Now, the other thing oh, oh, I wanted to tell you, when you've done your bloom, do not spray it with alcohol because, again, the alcohol will hit, it'll move. You know, like when you throw a, a rock into water and it has that rippled effect all the way out. So it'll change your bloom design. So don't do it. This is the back. So you can, by all means, spray the back to your heart's content with your isopropyl alcohol. Just don't spray your bloom. Um, it's probably a bit safer than trying to um, torch because you might melt your mould. All right, look at me. All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> it's time for dinner. Um, I'll see you guys in the morning when it's time to unmould this. Hopefully it's going to be stunning. Right, it's the next day and I woke up this morning and the first thing I thought of was, it's unmoulding day. I was so excited. Who else does that? It's so nice to have something to unmould in the morning, isn't it? All right, here we go. Let's loosen that all the way around. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can see through it. I can see through it a little bit. I'm going to put that, put that there. All right. Are we ready? 
So I don't think we're going to end up with the dots in the middle like we did with the other one because I did the, the suck out. So it should be just all like a, just a gradual, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. All right, here we go. Without further ado, oh, let's hope it looks pretty either way. All right, let's do the countdown. Okay, count with me. One, two, three. Oh, wow, look at that. It's, yeah, it's given us a different look in the center. What do you think of it? Wow. And because I put the, the blue background, we've still got some blue in the middle. And then we've got the... Oh, actually, the pink stands out. It does. I th and here was I thinking we'd lost all the pink. But we haven't. Look at that. That is so cool. Look, they've got like yellow tips and then they move down to white. That is so cool. Do you like that? I don't know if you can actually pick up. Can you pick up the bit of sparkle in the blue background? I'm not sure if you can or not. I can see it, but I don't know whether you can. But I will take it outside for you and um, and show it to you in, in, the, in the light. That's so pretty. Tell me what you think of the center, though. Do you like the center like like that so that they're all matching or do you like the little dots in the center look it doesn't matter I think they're going to be beautiful either way whichever way you do it whatever works for you <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so happy with it all right and um I've hardly got any bubbles you know really hardly I don't see any bubbles so wow I'm really happy with that Wow, and it works really well for the 3D blooms. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll put the link for this resin down in the description. What can I say? It speaks for itself. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Take care, guys. Love you all. Bye for now.